guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan, if you're new here and if you're returning for another video, thank you guys so much for tuning in. So we are now, I think maybe like five or six guest episodes in, um, but funny story, her name is actually Megan as well. So <laughs> two Megans today. Um, and I just asked her to join me, as you guys can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about the importance of speaking to yourself positively and um, thinking of yourself in a positive light as well. And Megan also does some sort of motivational videos on TikTok and I enjoy watching her because she has a lot of the similar mindset and things that I do. So I thought she'd be a really good guest for the channel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of let her introduce herself. We both do have notes written down, just so you guys know if we're looking down at any point. Um, <laughs> I like to prepare my guests so they can write down what they need to. So I'm just giving you that fair warning. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and just kind of talk about who you are and what you do. My name is Megan, also Megan. Um, I currently am an engineer for Northrop Grumman. Um, I've been working as an engineer for about like a year now, a little over a year, and I actually really love my job, so I'm very grateful. Good. Um, I used to work for the Department of Justice for four years, and prior to that, I used to work at a forge company um, where they forged like big metal parts for oil rigs. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been kind of a long journey to where I'm at now, but I'm very, very grateful. Yay, so, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, I meant to, I saw that, so congratulations. That's thank a huge you, thank deal. you. That's yeah. Big. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, so like I mentioned, um, I do watch a lot of videos that Megan does, and she has become a very, I think she's always been positive, but I've also known her throughout school as well, and just being able to, I, this always sounds so creepy, but I like to see where people came from, um, yeah. and she's somebody that I've watched just kind of grow over the years, really just on social media, but um, really, really good about just being positive and encouraging people, so we're grateful Thank for that. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> so... We talked about the introduction. So I guess what I kind of want to do is like a timeline of your life. So obviously you are a very encouraging person. You're very positive. But can you kind of just tell us like where you were in the past? Like were you always like this? No. Okay. okay so <laughs> let's see. I grew up in Oceanside, California. Moved to Maryland when I was about 11 years old. And, you know, I started not knowing anybody. I had like barely any friends. So being like the new girl, the quiet girl, no one really knew like who you were. People would point fingers and like make fun of me because I looked different and <laughs> you know, and it's like, that sucks. But like that kind of stuff sticks with you. So as you get older and as I got older, like graduating high school, I actually moved to Ohio to be with this guy and I lived there for about two years and that's where I was working at the Forge Company and I was paying for my own schooling with all the hours that I worked there. I was working um, like 12 hour shifts, coming home two in the morning, doing my homework, getting right back up at 8 a.m., driving straight to school, um, sitting in the classroom in my work, my blue collar work uniform, <laughs> and coming home, like going straight to work right after coming home repeat 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 i was even working saturdays and sometimes i even worked like seven days a week just to make money to provide for myself and at the time i was in a really toxic relationship so that like really weighed down on me and i decided to get out of that and come home back to maryland so i came back home and i started working for department of justice so i worked there for about four years but i really wasn't seeing any type of movement where i was at um not to talk bad about a company like you know that I work yeah. for or anything like that, but it really plays a toll on you when the you're surrounding like coworkers and your boss and stuff like that. They they don't see the potential in you and they don't want to you know move you like mm -hmm. they don't want to see any type of progression. So I wasn't motivated. I was like I want to do something that I love. I want to do something that's gonna really push pushed me to do better so I applied for an engineering position with for Northrop Grumman and I got it um so now I've been able to buy my first home Yay. I know which we're only five minutes apart which is crazy yeah, <laughs> we're right down the street I had no <laughs> idea but I was able to buy my own home and now like I'm just living a life that I feel is very happy and positive because I've worked really hard for it and mm. I swear by working hard yeah that's awesome <laughs> So what do you think was like your like aha moment? What do you think was like your awakening moment that you really needed to kind of kick into a different gear in your life? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, really it was when 
I applied for the job for Northrop Grumman because I was so, I was at such a low point really. You know, I, I am in my current relationship and it's always been like my relationship with my current boyfriend has been pretty positive. But myself, like my mental state, I felt like there was an emptiness kind of like I needed something more. I needed something that fulfilled me more. And when I got the job, it made me realize like I can do that. Like if I really worked hard, if I if I really worked hard enough, I can do that for myself. And that was when I was like, all right, what else can I do? What else can I put work in to make me a better person? What what can I do to influence myself, but other people as well? How can I satisfy that need within me, myself, not with other things, but with within myself? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. And that is a huge one. And that has been something that even for me, like I, I never try to pretend I'm perfect on this channel. I always tell you guys that I've got my own things that I'm still dealing with and working through. But um, the importance of like taking the time for yourself and really focusing on self love and self, I guess, adventuring and kind of oh, figuring yeah. out where you can go is so important. And like she mentioned, even though she's in a healthy and great relationship and I love seeing their posts and how much they love each other, it's great. You still always have to work on yourself and focus on, you know, how you can better yourself for the sake of you, but also your relationship for both your romantic relationship and people around you. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, it's really huge. I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah. So how do you think that, um, you know, that change in mindset has changed your life? Oh my gosh, I feel like it's changed me dramatically, like for the better, 100%. Um, you know, being before, like, where I used to think kind of, I wasn't really negative, but I didn't speak positive things. Like, if there was something bad that happened, I'd be like, oh man, this sucks. Like, I would be in this mindset of, oh, I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't do that. Or if, if it was like, if there was a day where, I didn't accomplish something. I'd be like, man, I was super lazy today. But now I look at it as no, like instead of saying those negative things, I'm like, I needed the rest today. I did the most I could today. Mm -hmm. I did the best I could where I'm at right now with what I know. So taking all the negative things that you constantly say every single day and changing them into positive things really influence you because then you start realizing it's not as bad as what you're thinking that it is like mm -hmm. your mind is is with you every single day all day all the time and it's you are with you all day so the best thing that i can say is speak good speak good out speak good in and you'll get good around you yeah. like that's 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 it you'll get good around you because people see that and people are influenced by that people are attracted to that you'll attract good things when you do that mm -hmm. because that's just the kind of vibe I guess you're giving off in the world, but it's true. And, and being able to do that and bring myself from a pretty low point to a really positive point has been a long journey, but it's possible and it can happen, but you gotta really put in the work for it because it's hard. Like when you first start telling yourself like the positive things, Sometimes you don't even believe it. You're like, oh, I don't want to say this. Like, yeah. Am I really going to look in the mirror and tell myself I'm ready today? Like, <laughs> it's hard. But you have to do it. You have to do it because then you'll start noticing, wow, you know, I am pretty. Like, wow, my life is pretty good right now. Because where you were at five, you know, two, three, four, five years ago compared to now, think about that. Don't just look at, oh man, like, what am I not doing now? Look at how far you've came already mm -hmm. and, and appreciate that whole entire journey. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I tell people this all the time for one, you know, when it comes to anything you want to do in your life, you have to believe in yourself first and foremost, because I've said this before, but other people won't believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. So you have to show up in a way that represents you in a positive light. And speaking positively to yourself, like she said, I mean, it's easy to look in the mirror and be like, oh my gosh, I've gained weight or I look ugly, my hair looks bad, whatever the case is. 
but it's almost like a challenge sometimes you have to challenge yourself to say good things about yourself oh, physically yeah. mentally emotionally spiritually whatever the case is because you start to believe what you say as well and I remember growing up, my mom, like anytime I would say, oh my gosh, I feel ugly or something, she would always like hit me and she's like, don't talk about my daughter like that. Don't do that. Aww. And it really stuck with me. And I was like, you know, so now I do it to my friends and my family. And I'm, if I hear anything negative, I'm like, if you start to, you always wake up and I think Anne-Marie touched on this in my last um, interview. If you didn't talk, if you didn't watch it, I'll link it above here. Um, but she was like, if you wake up and you tell yourself you're fat, ugly, and stupid every day, you're going to believe you're fat, yeah. ugly, and stupid. So you have to believe in yourself and everything, not just adventures that you want to take, but in your personality and the way that you look. And, you know, it's okay to not love yourself 100% where you're at. If you know that there's changes you want to make, that's okay. And everybody wants to make changes about themselves. There's certain things that I still want to change. But in the middle of that, you still have to find a really good line of being grateful and happy for who you are and speaking positively about the things that you do love with oh, yeah. yourself and for yourself. And to add to that, there's going to be a lot of people that will challenge you and that might say negative things about you. Mm -hmm. um, but the biggest thing is if you believe in yourself and if you believe that you can do something, that's all that matters. Yep. I've had people laugh at my face, to my face. My own family members laugh in my face and tell me that I cannot do something. And it hurt really bad. Like, it hurt really bad. But you know what? I kept quiet. I worked hard for it. And I've accomplished it. And now I'm like, mm. what else can I do? Because <laughs> yep. I can do it. <laughs> yep. And people are always going to challenge you. And that's where that self-love, though, comes in. Because, again, if you're being mean to yourself and other people are being mean to you, you're going to be in a really depressive mm. state of mind. Yeah. So you have to be strong enough to be positive for yourself. And like she said, there's going to be family. There's going to be friends. There's going to be people around you. And who is none of their damn business. No. <laughs> They're just going to say mean things just because it's an own insecurity within themselves. That you guys is right. know how I feel about that. So... And it's easy to say that, um, but it really is true. I mean, people mm -hmm. who are negative and mean, they're just projecting their own insecurities yeah. on you. So remember that. Um, and then on top of that, remember that you've got to love yourself and be strong enough in yourself to be able to achieve what you want. Mm -hmm. And um, you guys know I'm doing this self-care challenge, everything like that. And that's one of those things that if you lay in bed every day and you're just in a dark room and you're depressed and you're telling yourself negative things, that's going to be the outcome that you get in your life. As Megan, other Megan mentioned, um, you know, it's important to tell yourself these things so that way you can have the outcome that you want and you are capable. Again, my little outro at the end is not me just joking, but I really mean that you're super capable of doing every and anything you set your mind to, but it really does start with believing in yourself and speaking to yourself in a good way and being patient with yourself, being kind with yourself. You're never going to be perfect. There's always going to be things to heal and learn and fix. But being kind to yourself just as much as you want other people to be kind to you. And it really does start in your own mental. And then you do attract the universe or God, whatever you believe in, projects those things and gives those things back to you. Absolutely. So it's super, super important that you start with yourself. And then that also radiates to other people. Mm -hmm. And I think um, that's kind of like why I started doing these videos too. Because I started loving myself more and really being able to understand myself more. And I was like... I need to share this with other people. Other people need to feel this way about themselves too. Yeah. And it's been an amazing um, journey to hear people saying that even just watching the videos or hearing other people like Megan talk has really changed their mental and made them think in a way that they wouldn't about themselves. So like, honestly, just ultimately all that to just say, remember to always be positive to yourself because it really clearly can literally change your life. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I think what you're doing right now and all the videos that you're sharing, all the positive messages that you're sharing, it's attracting people to you. Like mm -hmm. it's attracting people who want to learn and people who want the same thing. So I really think that what you give out when, when people believe in you because you believe in yourself, like she said, People see that and they're like, okay, wow, what is she doing? Mm -hmm. Because I want to I want to be like that too. I want to be like yep. that too. Yep. So it works. It does. Okay, so now that we did all that. Um, so my next question for you is just where, how do you see yourself now? What light do you see yourself in, in this moment? So I wake up in the morning and the first thing that I think of is I give my thanks to God. I pray. I'm very grateful. And I imagine myself in the version of myself that I want to be. Mm -hmm. So I, I wake up and I'm like, okay, I see myself doing this. And instead of saying like, no, nah, like I want that. I, I say, I will be this. I will do this. I will conquer this. And I imagine myself 
in that moment what I will feel in that moment when I conquer that. And I just go and I and I keep doing and I do the things throughout the day that add to what I said that morning, mm -hmm. add to what I said I was going to do. When you sit when you speak it and you set it right in the first thing in the morning and you tell yourself that this is what you're gonna do, this is this is it. All the actions that follow will lead to what you told mm -hmm. yourself in the morning. And I pray. Every single day, I think praying is, I'm very religious, and I think praying is 100% like, you need, you need that in your life. I, I put God first 100%, and I will always put God first. Um, but I imagine myself in this armor of God. I actually spoke to a lady before when I was at one of my really like low points, and I asked her, because she's such a confident, and she's a bright lady, and she's a single woman, and I was just like, what do you do? Like, how do you how are you so lively and bubbly and she was like first thing i do is i wake up and i imagine myself in an armor of god and i just remind remind myself that i can do what anything that i want to do because god tells me that i can do that mm -hmm. and ever since then that just stuck with me so i like that yeah awesome <laughs> yeah so i think i'm like you said speaking it into existence you guys know i am a huge believer in manifesting things and i believe you can and will do anything so instead of saying like i want to or um you know if i can i always say when i do and i will because it truly does reset your mindset and that has a lot to do with this yes. as well um do you have any like daily affirmations you kind of just touched on it or mottos that you live by that you just keep going and tell yourself every day so yes the very first thing i say is god first mm -hmm. me second god first me second um speak positive and then start small and the rest will follow like because if you put god first god is going to bless you for putting him first you take care of yourself second in in his guidance and you just speak positive words a spot like positive every single day just speak positive say positive things start speaking into existence and start small like don't put everything on your to-do list in one day don't be like i gotta do this 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 because then you're gonna be like oh my gosh Overwhelming. Yeah. i can't do all this all in one day if you start small and say okay i'm gonna conquer two things today and instead of and saying i want to i will i'll do two things today the next day you have those two things off your to-do list and you keep doing that but slowly, don't put all this pressure on yourself because you're not on anyone else's timeline. Like your life is on your own timeline. Your your walk, your path of life is it's just you right there. You and you don't have to worry about anyone else around you. It don't matter because they're all on their own walks. They're on their own path. They have their own timelines. You worry about you and the rest will follow. The rest will all fall into place. Absolutely, I agree with that. Um, okay, I think my last question, which you kind of just touched base on. I love when people do this. It's easy because they get all my questions at one time. Um, what is your biggest takeaway or message that you want to share with people who are listening? The biggest message that I want people to know is to love yourself. I mean, seriously, love yourself and envision yourself in this, like, covered love, all over, this glow of self-love every single day because what you're seeking out and other people and things, social media, like all that, all that stuff, you're not gonna find those things that you need in other things. If you, if your mind is telling you, I want love, like I want affection, I need, I need this, I need that, like you can give that to yourself. And if you give that to yourself, you will set the tone, like the example for everyone else around you that you meet, that you come in contact with, they're gonna see how much you love yourself, that they're gonna think, Whoa, I gotta match that. I gotta I gotta meet her own expectations for herself because if I if you give yourself all that love, if you can show people the requirements that you need for yourself and how to love you, you're gonna attract people that want to exceed that, that want to meet that. Because if you're down on yourself and you're negative all the time and you don't think that you can do something or accomplish something people will see that and they're gonna be like oh well i could talk to her that way too i can treat her that way too because she treats herself bad yeah or they're gonna be able to manipulate you too, yes and that's when you get exactly over, yeah yes if you if you give yourself all that self-love and all that attention towards yourself and you figure out what it is that you need to feel whole you're gonna put those boundaries in place with people and you're gonna seriously say hey no i don't accept that 
-hmm. I don't give myself that, so I'm not going to take it from you. Period. <laughs> yeah, that's, no, that's a good yeah. one. That's super, super important. And that, you know, so we're done with this part of the interview, but as I mentioned, so Megan does these same types of videos. Um, so if you guys want to see like a part two, I think that might be an interesting part two to talk about. It's just a whole separate thing about self-love. Oh yeah. I actually do have that written down. So maybe we could kind of get into that in another video. Mm -hmm. Um, but just, you know, an overview of that, it is super important. Like she mentioned, because you set that standard and you determine if people are going to rise to your expectations or they're going to be down here where you're putting yourself. Yeah. And again, that all starts with your own mentality and how you speak to yourself and how you care for yourself and what you're doing for your mental, your physical, your spirituality, all of it is super important in how other people project onto you. So if you guys want to see a self-love type of video, make sure you do comment below. And then I would also love to have Megan maybe on one of those episodes. We did talk about doing a separate, we have another episode she's going to be joining in on. So she'll be here a couple times yep. um, just because we have a lot of the same mentalities and it's really awesome. So I really thank you. Um, oh, absolutely. And thank you so much for the opportunity. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's great. And I, if, whatever she's comfortable with, I always like to ask people. I can share um, her TikTok or something like that if you guys want to kind of just check out some of her videos. Again, it's really quick videos. So it's always, those are nice options to have as well. So whatever she's comfortable with, I will yep. share. Um, and if you guys want to see a part two or you have any specific questions for her, I know this was a little bit of a shorter um, interview, but she really did a good job of hitting all my questions. So I appreciate that. Um, but make sure you guys do, you know, comment or drop those below or follow my social media or her social media, um, which will always or also be in the comments if you guys are interested. So did you have anything else you wanted to add before we head out? I don't think so. I okay. think I'm good for today. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining in. More than anything, guys, remember you are so loved. You matter so deeply to this world. You are cared for. You're appreciated. I hear you. I see you. I love you guys. And I will talk to you next time. Peace.